All right, guys, today we're reacting to GMF Breakdown Miles Murphy and why he's going to have a great preseason game and what to look out for. So I'm going to have to put up pictures of what he's talking about in this because he's using college clips. And if you know anything about college clips, the NCAA will take down anything that they deem is, you know, using their content. The NCAA is crazy with that. So, apologize for that, but let's go ahead and listen up to what McCourty has to say. Good morning, football. McCourt is back in session right. for the first time this season. This morning, we're going to take a closer look at Bengals defensive end Miles Murphy, who will be making his preseason NFL debut tonight on this very own network. Let's check out some of his tape from his time at Clemson. Okay. Yes, there's a lot of rookies that are catching a ton of buzz. He's been a little under the radar, but you're going to see him right here against Louisiana Tech, fighting through pursuit. Find the ball carrier, get him on the ground. Don't let anybody stop you. Puts his shoulder down, continues to drive, and makes the tackle on the running back for no gain. This is a guy that can rush the passer, but also can play the run. Big, tough, strong, and stout. Double team me, I do not care, because look at his eyes, the vision. He's seeing what's going on in the backfield, and he's able to get off of the double team. And I know, this isn't a negative play, nothing of that nature, but look at the size of that hole and how fast he's able to close down there and get to the running back before it becomes a big play. This is him right here against Florida State. Watch the hands. You're going to see right here, it starts out what we call a long arm with that left mm -hmm. hand, and he's keeping his separation from the offensive tackle. But watch the right hand, how he knocks it down, swipes, and is able to rip through to be able to keep going and get the quarterback sack. Miles Murphy joining the Cincinnati Bengals defense with some guys in front of him. And this right here, we call this a three-man game. The two guys inside of him are coming. They're knocking the center and the guard away, giving him the free lane as the looper. And his job is simple. Get around the corner, find the quarterback, and bring him down. Don't miss the layup when you have your chance. Coming off the edge right here, recognizes what's going on. Running back is leaving the backfield, sees the quarterback going up. You don't just keep rushing the quarterback. Turn and run. Get out of the stacks is how we used to call it. The defensive lineman, once they see the ball, don't hesitate. Just turn your head around and go find the ball. That right there, my friends, is Miles Murphy. They say he's having a little bit of a slow start in the preseason, okay. but this is a great opportunity for him and some games, game action to go out there and prove. First off, I want to know who is saying he's having a slow training camp. Because we have looked at a footage on this channel of him a couple of times destroying Jackson Carmen or off the outside and getting after the quarterback. And to say he's having slow training camp, another thing is that is absolutely incorrect because you got to remember that they're trying him out at every single position possible. They've been moving him from the three-point technique to the edge rusher to inside to outside, right? They've been using him in every way possible. So you can't really say he's having a slow because saying he has a slow is usually if he's like, you know, trying out one position and he's slowly getting to that position. He's having to learn pretty much everything throughout training camp. So they started him off on the edge and now they're moving him inside and stuff like that. So I don't agree with that completely that he's having a slow training camp. I think that, you know, he's learning that we're going to use him in every way possible. Now, tonight we're not going to see too much of him, mainly because... As we learned from Coach, they're not going to put out their starters really at all tonight. We're not going to see many starters out there. Now, Miles Murphy is not technically a starter yet. He's a rotational piece. So we're going to see some of him, but we're not going to see him that much tonight. We're going to see more of the backup guys. Now, according to Coach, we're probably going to see them more next week, right, with uh, preseason week two. So it's very possible we see more playtime of Miles Murphy, but... Really, we're not going to see as crazy amount of time as we would, let's say, in the regular season tonight. But, again, like I said, we'll have to wait and see what ends up happening. That's just based on what Coach said, but maybe they end up trying to use him a tad bit more. Maybe in different schemes and different, you know, systems. Keep in mind one thing, and I say systems as in, like, around the defense line. Now, keep in mind one thing, though. This game tonight, I'm going to be live for, by the way. I'll be live streaming the whole game. But... <clears throat> But the cool thing about tonight is that we're playing the Packers, right? The Packers are trying to figure out themselves on offense with, you know, a new quarterback, new everything, 
they're trying to figure it out. So they're going to keep their starters in for a good bit of time tonight. Rather than, you know, most teams that might take them out after a series or two, we will see the Packers starters tonight. And that means our first string, which won't be out there, our second string defense and third and fourth are going to be going against a starting unit tonight. So we're going to see how good they play. And not only that, on defense, we're going to see how our second string offense can perform tonight for against, you know, starting defenders. Another thing I will say is, you know, tonight we're going to see, this is the whole preseason, by the way, we're going to see a lot of Trevor Simeon and a lot of Jake Browning. And the reason why this is important is, again, if Joe can't go week one, which obviously I think he will, but if he can't, we're going to see how they play tonight against, you know, we're going to see how um, Trevor Simeon and Jake Browning play tonight and the rest of the uh, preseason games. And we're going to see how they look in the regular season too, right? Because whoever plays really great tonight in the next two preseason games is going to be the start of week one if Joe can't go. So, we're going to get a lot of, you know, a lot of footage to kind of break down and digest tonight. So it's going to be an exciting night. These next three preseason games are going to be interesting to say the least. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.